Now, Jammu and Kashmir DGP Dilbagh Singh, along with other senior officers, are currently at Darhan in Rajori, and counter terror operations are currently underway. A man who's been identified as Nisar and his family are currently involved in providing the terrorist support and also supplies, food. They have also picked drone supply, we've been told, of cash and weapons for them. So that uh, person, Nisar, and his family is also currently being questioned uh, as the counter-terror operations are currently underway in the Rajori sector. Very solid clues uh, were received by police and the agencies working together. A lot of follow-up action has been taken on uh, after that incident and we have picked up around 221 suspects out of whom some of them are seriously involved in uh, providing logistic support uh, and helping them in wrecking the area where that attack took place. My colleague Tejinder is joining us uh, with all the inputs pertaining to this breaking news piece of information that we have on the broadcast. Tejinder, first of all, take us through the counter-terrorism operation that's currently underway. What can you tell our viewers what exactly is happening in Rajori? And then we'd also want you to uh, talk to us about this family that's currently been questioned by the police. Uh, yes, you see, the counter-terror operation is already underway in the Poonch Rajori areas. And if you remember, uh, we at Network 18 have been continuously reporting how a family had provided support to the terrorists who carried out this terror uh, attack in which five of our brave hearts, they were martyred. Uh, we also reported that uh, the uh, terror attack which happened in Dangri on 1st of January and uh, the terror attack which happened in Poonch, the terrorists who carried out the terror attack, they were uh, the same and uh, uh, this is the same group which carried out both the terror attacks. Now, uh, the Director General of Jammu and Kashmir Police, Dilbag Singh himself, is in Darhal. Darhal area is on the uh, borders of Poonch and Rajori district, wherein it is believed that the terrorists are hiding somewhere there. So the uh, terror counter-terror operation is underway in uh, both the areas, in Poonch as well as in Rajori. As far as this uh, Nisar uh, and his family is concerned, Nisar, uh, uh, it, it is said that Nisar is involved uh, in... Uh, providing logistic support to the terrorists. He's the one who had uh, picked up uh, the consignment which was dropped uh, from Pakistan side using drones and uh, this consignment he uh, handed over to the terrorists to carry out the terror uh, attack in the area. Nisar was picked up by the security forces for questioning but uh, when he was released he consumed the poisonous substances and he committed suicide. But uh, his family uh, is still being questioned by the security forces uh, about the uh, involve, their involvement, uh, what information do they have. Uh, the police also says that more than 220 people have been detained by the security forces and they are being questioned for their links in this uh, terror attack which happened in Poonch in which five brave hearts they lost their life. We are also told uh, that uh, this group uh, came from Pakistan. It stayed in uh, the fam in the house of uh, Gujar in the area who was picked up by the security forces for questioning. Uh, so this uh, this he has revealed uh, that he uh, the, the person who has been detained by the police he revealed that he carried this group from one place to another to carry out this terror attack. So all these aspects are being looked into. Uh, the Director General uh, Dilbar Singh, while speaking to the media, hmm. said that uh, they, they have been able to piece up all the loose ends of this case, uh, but they are still looking into uh, the, the main victory for the security forces would be the day when the terrorists who are involved in carrying out these two terror attacks, they are identified and they are neutralized. So, but uh, the yes. police and other security forces, they are hopeful that uh, they, they would soon attain success in this case. Yes. Hey, Jinder, uh, we just heard Mr. Dilbag Singh. Now, he speaks about 221 suspects who've been taken into custody for questioning. Now, uh, what do we know about that? And you're mentioning that there are terrorists still present in the area, and hence these counter-terror organizations, uh, the, this, this uh, sort of probe that's currently underway. Um, do we know that there is going to be more and more villagers who are going to be questioning, uh, questioned for the sheltering of these terrorists if, if there are clues vis-a-vis -vis that? Uh, yes, if you remember that ever since the first Bata Durya encounter did take place on uh, 
uh, on October 2021, uh, there has been no headway about the, uh, the the identity of the terrorist, uh, the security forces. They haven't been able to pinpoint the exact location where the terrorists are hiding. And mm. since then, this counter operation is going on. After that, there was this major terror attack which happened in the Dangri village of Rajori district in which seven innocent uh, uh, villagers they were killed by the terrorists. And uh, now this uh, this fresh terror attack which happened in Ponch in which five Devahards were killed. So security forces, they are picking up the local re uh, residents who they believe are involved because of the data dump which they have collected from the mobile towers in the area, from the local information which security forces have got. So these people, they have not been formally arrested. They are being questioned by the security forces. As far as this Nisar and his family is concerned, Nisar had uh, earlier also been picked up by the security forces hmm. for his involvement in the first Bata Duri encounter in which nine of our brave hearts lost their life. Now again, when Nisar's name figured into uh, this terror attack, he was picked, he was questioned. But he consumes a poisonous substance and he hmm. uh, committed suicide. But his family's role is still being, uh, uh, the, the security forces are trying to find out the role of his family because they also provided logistic support. Uh, we are told by uh, the sources that uh, the terrorists stayed in their house for some time. Uh, hmm. They also, the family members also helped them to carry out recce of security installations in the area. Hmm. So these leads have uh, so far been recovered by the police and the, in the coming days, uh, some people might be arrested and more people would be picked up for questioning uh, as happens in any terror attack okay. uh, in, in the moment. All right, Tejinder, thank you so much for your information.